Hey everybody, welcome to D and G Explorers. We are live. Look at I look like I got something on my face here. Sorry, as I scream on here. <laughs> welcome Explorers. It is that's a yeah. Um, <laughs> that was kind of a violent. We went black there for a minute. It is March it violent because the camera went boom. Oh. It is March 18, five o'clock on the west coast. Eight o'clock on the oh. east coast. I'm not gonna hit you. I Close promise. coast. Ay ay ay. And um, we're gonna have some special guests coming over soon. If you guys missed it, we were on um, the Disney Nerd Herders with Jim and Disney Nerd Herders, who are also gonna be joining our show. And um, we're gonna be talking today a little bit about our trip to England and the Harry Potter studios. So um, I will tell you, <laughs> Dobby lives. Dobby lives. Um. We'll see how this show goes. It's going to be kind of interesting because we didn't really get a whole lot of chance to set up for it. Um, so that'll be fun. But um, we're going to talk for a little bit. Welcome, Greg. Why don't we do People a... We're talking up a storm in here already. Mm -hmm. Wow. Right on. We why don't have... you welcome, everyone, Greg? Well, I'm trying. Yeah. <laughs> we have Blaine2007, Josh Odom, um, Debbie Emmanuel. Welcome. Wanna Chiquita Bonita Banana Byram. Fisher Fun Ventures, Pepper Tree Villa, and I want to make sure I don't miss anybody. Arving to Disney, Elisa, Alyssa Stern, Stenberg, Stenberg, and Disney World Freak. So welcome everybody, and uh, Michelle Wilms, Steve's World. So we people are starting to pour in more. So welcome, thank you for supporting us and joining us on our show. Um, we're going to have a fun-filled Harry Potter-ish type night tonight. Uh, we have Big Noah Mountain 5. Welcome. Robert from Life with Favor. P uh, Papa Mozo. Um, Captain Akron. Welcome. So we're going to be uh, basically doing what we did with Pepper Tree Villa and um, going over our... Uh, wow. <laughs> Going over our Harry Potter video that we did at the Harry Potter Studios in England, which was really cool. And we'll just be talking over it as we go through. We have Denise Elgazi. Dennis. Dennis, sorry. Dennis Elgazi. So welcome, everybody. Papa Moza, did you say hello to I Papa did. Moza? Welcome, guys. Yep. All Happy right. Happy Wednesday, everybody. So once again, I'm trying to get everything organized now on here so since we got set up um we are going to bring our guests on and uh these were if you guys have not met them we will introduce them right now so as one of them comes on here is we got disney nerd herders with the disney sorting hat herders <laughs> i feel Look. like we just saw them not yes. too long ago <laughs> what what see? it's been forever we miss you guys no. <laughs> that was a fun show and if, if you guys was. missed it this is called, it's not really much dancing anymore, but this was called the Dancing Leprechaun. So um, you'll have to tune into their show to find out how to make a dancing leprechaun. And Greg danced up <laughs> on the table. It was amazing. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm glad I was not awake for that because I don't remember any of it. <laughs> hey, Atwood. He's blacked it out. Now it's the sleepy leprechaun or the tired leprechaun. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> we will have Jim for more sunshine, please, on the show. Um, he's probably puking everything that he said he liked when he really didn't like it. You know, he mixed like grass and a, and a pepper together. Said it was really good. Well, I'm sorry. I'm if, sure it was. Good. If you eat that healthy, you're gonna get sick. I'm sorry. Uh, is this gonna be will a rated? Come, come Ugh. Is this gonna what be a that? rated? Is this gonna be a rated G show so the girl can stick around or? You are more than welcome to definitely <laughs> yes. I can talk to you. <laughs> Rob Sarah, Ben PTV2, welcome. Welcome, Rob. Jonathan Chong. We're like a GPG kind of kind of show here. It depends how Greg dances for it to be uh -huh. short sure is. Yeah. Um, so some crazy stuff going on as we know in the world today. So it's a chance for us to escape it all. So um, welcome everyone to uh, for joining our show. And I am having a nightmare trying to get well, into this. Well, I wanted to give um, Charlie a chance to tell us some of the ideas that they had because they were going to talk about what people could do while they're um, 
self-isolating themselves with their families. Um, what were some of your ideas that you might have had, not to put you on the spot? <laughs> some of our ideas, or some of my ideas, you guys had your own ideas. Yes. For, um, for the things hey, ideas you for are doing while you're socially distancing yourselves, right? Is that what that the, we're talking about? That's what I meant to say, yes. Hey, Jerry. Mm -hmm. If you're a YouTuber, you can go live, do live streams with friends, like we've been doing all night. That's that's fun. Mm -hmm. it, it makes the time go by nice and faster. And if you have a bunch of friends in the chats, that helps. Um, mm -hmm. You can go for a walk outside or a hike outside, as long as you're away from people and not in a big crowd, right? Mm -hmm. We had, we went for a walk around the neighborhood this evening. Mm -hmm. And it's like there was like we called it the the walk of a thousand dogs because there seemed to be dogs <laughs> everywhere tonight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. It was crazy. Yeah. yeah. So maybe people think that other I don't know other people are gonna be aren't gonna be around so they can bring their dogs out or a lot of them were coming from inside the house were barking at us too. Yeah, like. but we usually don't have that. Yeah, we usually don't have that. Maybe there's a sale at the shelter. <laughs> You could all, another activity is always fun to plan your next trip, right? Plan your next Disney trip mm. or your next yeah. Hogwarts Cruise. trip to London. Or, <laughs> is that thing still open in London? They're probably all shut down They're right now. They're getting ready to have a lockdown over there. We probably oh, yeah, I'm like right that. now, but it, I'm just wondering if it was in, when when things aren't all breaking loose. I wonder if oh, it's yeah. still a, a, a thing that's open. Oh, yeah, it's still there. We would like to go back again. I think because of the popularity of this, um, if you're talking about the tour, mm -hmm. um, because of the popularity of this, um, it will... I don't think it's, it's going to close. No, it's too popular. It's way too popular for that. Did you, you, you want to... It's on yeah. Disney Nerd Orders. I'll, I'll send it again. Then. Sorry, Charlie, go ahead. Did you want me to go over my socially distancing best drink names? Yes, please. <laughs> oh, but my yeah, she's here. So let me let me my edited list of names because I wasn't expecting you. Oh, to <laughs> you have a well. If you have a PG list, you can go to PG. Well, it's a play on regular drink names. You know that you might get at a bar somewhere. You know. Oh, that's so, fine. Go for it. You know, like I go. Yeah, hand gel on the beach. <laughs> that, that was just one. Um, the lonely TP holder. Um. Tom Coffins. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> my, my, my Corona. <laughs> oh wow. So, and uh, 20 seconds to paradise. All right, let's just do this. <laughs> no, that was fine. You got to wash your hands for 20 seconds. All right. Mom came up with COVID on the rocks. COVID on the. <laughs> oh, now I get it. The 20 seconds to paradise. Okay, that's what you were talking about. Yeah, washing, washing your hands. You know, but, oh. Okay. No, no, I got it. I never said they were good. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. It's all right. Um, I want to make sure I didn't miss any. We said hello to Blaine. Right? Paper, scissors, and vacations on my. Jack yep. Sandy Claus. Yep. <laughs> and I know we said hello to. Um, I think we got uh, Jerry Coral Chuck. Yeah. I, I said hi. Jonathan Chung. Oh, I like the Jack Skellington on the Jack Sandy Claus uh, Logan um, picture. And Ben from PTV2. Yep. Oh, there he is. Hi, Ben. Hi, PTV. Hey, there is Jim from More Sunshine, please. Did you pee? <laughs> oh, hi, guys. Thanks for having me. Sorry I'm late. Did you puke up all your food? No, I'm great. <laughs> Puking comes later. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's, Jim, introduce yourself with them. Um, everyone knows you, so, but introduce yourself. I'm Jim. Uh, my channel's More Sunshine, Please. I focus on uh, tractors and tractor repair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. In your spare time. <laughs> All the time. All the I'm supposed time. to be a teacher, but it's tractors and tractor repair. <laughs> Well, thank you for everyone for joining us tonight. Um, this is not one of our cruising nights. Um, we welcome are, to Philly Crew. But we will welcome. We will be cruising over onto our one of our first trips we ever vlogged, which um, was Disneyland Paris. But we went to my relatives in England, and we took the channel over from um, the English side, which was um, King's Cross Station, and we took it the uh, real down. King's Cross Station, yep. and we took it over. 
to France. We came back uh, to England a few days. After that, we went to Cornwall. And then on the day before we left, I believe, we ended up going Did to the, tour the Harry Potter Warner Studios. Studios. Yep. And we stayed there for about four and a half hours, which um, we <clears throat> probably could have stayed six to seven it, hours. Yeah, it's really an all-day <laughs> thing. And we had the headset with the... Um, it's like an iPod thing with pictures and descriptions, and it talks to you and stuff. And you go through each area, and it's really an all-day thing. You can have lunch and everything there. So, yes, <laughs> Charlie. What what year was this trip? This was in 2018. No, it was 2017. Sorry. Yeah, September 2017. You don't have to raise your hand. Just talk. Jump in. I don't like. No, the I, I like it. Cut people off, and I'm sorry. Yeah, I like it. So that wasn't too far gone long ago. That's good. Oh, cool. Uh, Blaine's asking if you can, uh, if you can tell him <laughs> how to uh, repair the transmission. Jim, that is not nice. He's <laughs> you the hand. See, I can't. I, so you're telling me I can't speak, Jim? I just thought, uh, <laughs> yeah. Jim Longbottom. Jim's saying talk to the hand. That's why he put his hand up. He no, was, was I'm raising my hand. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Go He's ahead. practicing his uh, social distance. Distancing, which is Stop. the uh, Spock. Are you going to call on me? Yes. Jim, Jim take you have away. a question. I do not. <laughs> I forgot. Or a comment. <laughs> I have nothing. Oh, I just no, wanted, it's, it's, a, it's a drill. I just wanted to try it. Is, uh, is Neville Longbottom mm -hmm. your favorite uh, Harry Potter character? My favorite name. <laughs> Neville Longbottom. His yeah. favorite name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is it your favorite character? Your favorite, my favorite name. Yeah, <laughs> you made him a southern farmer. <laughs> well, he's funny. He's my favorite name. He likes tractors. That's right. What Long bottom you? tractor repair. What about you, uh, Disney Sorting Hat Herders? How from how 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 familiar <laughs> how familiar are you with Harry Potter, and what are your favorite characters? I just realized it said Long Bottom there. Familiar is a herd attack. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone. Look, no, I like it. <laughs> it was a, that was good. That well, was we've we've read it. We're, we're very familiar with you were, the beer. We're, we're, we're very familiar the with the her, yeah, with Harry Potter. We've watched all the movies and we have well we've read all the we've books. Read the books. They haven't read the books. We used to stand what? in line with the they used to have those midnight openings of when the new books were coming out. Don't you remember in Barnes the, and Noble at Barnes and Nobles? And mm -hmm. we would be out there at, standing out there at midnight. Yep, and they, everyone would dress up in uh, like their Harry Potter costumes and oh. stuff like that, and it was fun. Mm, we loved it. We definitely loved yeah, it. Yeah, totally loved it. Even yeah, it and um, your favorite character? Do you have a favorite character? I like Ron Weasley. Yeah, like Ron. Ron's I like good. Ron. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love Neville too. Neville and Ron, huh? Yeah. I love Neville. I feel like he's so relatable. Wow. <laughs> like why does always why does everything always happen to me is like my favorite line that he has. I like the I love goods. I like Luna and her dad. They are pretty interesting <laughs> characters, you know. Yeah. He betrays them. He yeah, he he yeah, he's not very nice at the, the no spoilers, end. Spoilers, spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that was your fault. Sorry. That was your fault. No, well, he's a lovely man. man. I haven't seen it by now. Cool. So <laughs> True to the end. And Jordan, our friend from Australia, welcome. Alyssa, are you from Australia too? Or I thought you were more local. She said, Good day. Good day. So good day. I, I didn't realize um, she was she actually. Said, good day. Good day. So I would say for me, my char favorite character her at first her. was in the book was um, Cedric Diggory. But I will tell you, I did not like Robert Patterson as Cedric, Pattinson. Pattinson as Cedric Diggory. He was not a strapping young man. He was a scrawny little guy. Oh, he was tall, but um, I was disappointed how they typecasted him or character whatever casted him. Um, but I would say my character in development overall was also Noah Longbottom because I like how he became someone who was quiet and a nerd. And as he grew older, he grew into himself and he became um, a basically a hero. A yeah. leader, a leader of the rebellion. We love that. I, I don't know if it really matters at this point, but he has his character was a huge part of the story because it could have been Harry Potter or Neville. So a huge development in the Harry Potter stories. Um, but he was my favorite character too. Greg. Uh, 
I don't know if I, I don't know if they're I don't know if a favorite, but I really did like um, Sirius Black and also Dumbledore, because Sirius Black was kind of like the father figure to Harry Potter. So I like Bellatrix. Oh, Bellatrix was evil. She was, a fun one. <laughs> she was mean. You like Bellatrix? You yeah. said that really? She's wow. crazy. She's so and Gary Oldman did a really good job playing Sirius Black. I thought too. So I think the casting they did for the movies was really good. Now, mm -hmm. uh, when except now, Cedric Diggory, yes, exactly. <laughs> right. people won't accept you. Yeah. <laughs> Not the size degree I thought was going to be appearing in front of the camera. Who did you picture when you read it? Who did you know. picture just, being that part? Well, when you hear strapping, you think of someone who's like muscular and and Robert like, Pattinson. Like is Gaston, kind of a, strapping young men like me. Guess, That's what he said. I, I didn't <laughs> imagine him. <laughs> but I mean, he did it all right. Not to knock him, but... um I just No, knocked. not to knock him. And After now you've knocked him for five minutes. Now he's <laughs> Let's yeah. see how he does his Batman. He's gonna be Batman. Oh man, really? That's really? right. I forget. It'll be a it'll be a different version. It'll be a younger version of Batman, but um, yeah, we'll see how he does. Yeah, hmm. definitely. All right, you guys. Anything you want to um, start before or say before we get started? No, let's go. All right. Say so safe out there, please. And just Everybody work together. Don't panic and try to do your part. It's really all I would say with everything going on in the world. I think what we'll do is this is about 24 minutes. So when we get done with that, we will do the spotlight channel. So as we get ready to get set up, Greg, um, what was oh, your yeah, Ben said Hedwig? Hedwig. Oh, Hedwig. And Dobby. What, what was my what? That's a very nice picture of me. What the heck? Is there a question? There's speak. a question. There's a question. Will they, Greg? Will, will the chats be able to hear us while this movie is going on? Yes. Yep. Okay. So keep all your comments low. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and kind and, and witty. What and were you saying to me? I was um, saying, what did you? Uh, what, what surprised you about this tour? Uh, how emotional it actually was going through it, especially the the ending of it was was emotional. Actually, yeah. The tour. Was. The tour was. Yeah, the tour was emotional, wow. and, and at the end, it was emotional. Kind of the same thing that you get when you go through the Walt Disney Museum, but uh, this was Bye, Sophie. Bye. Say goodbye to Sophie. Bye, Sophie. Bye, Sophie. Bye, Sophie. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Kids nowadays. <laughs> all right, let's get this all set up. Wow, <laughs> what picture is that of me? You look like you're um, having a moment of doubt or something. Like oh that. yes. <laughs> should, I, should I not go on the tour? No. <laughs> I'm right. very glad we did. I'm gonna turn down the volume. All right, today on this. is Thursday. Well, not too much. And all right. Where are we at, Greg? We're at Harry Potter Studios, Warner Brothers. Uh, Harry Potter Studios making Harry Potter. Yay! And, uh, <laughs> Blaine said, "Let's look at eat a lemon bar. Lemon bars are pretty good, Blaine. Lemon bars? Yes, lemon bars are really good. All right. So, Leesden Studios is really about forty-five minutes outside of London. So, I don't know why they call it London, um, but this was because um, it sounds good. Yeah, <laughs> probably. Just like Disneyland Paris isn't really in Paris, but it sounds good." So this is also where they're they're filming the um, Fantastical Beasts movies. Oh, yeah, parts of them, and yeah, it's still a working studio. Is that the line um, to get in? That was the line to get in. We did they the way they do it is um, you book you can't if you try to walk up there and get in you won't so you have to make previous reservations to get in. The one thing we found out is I think we had like a one o'clock reservation, but we got there about twelve I think. They were um, able to get us in as soon as we got there. So um, even though you have may have a later um, appointment or reservation, they still let you in. Cool. Now, is everything in this, like all the, the props and set pieces, these are authentic? Yeah. Correct. Everything is from the movies. And you actually get to be part of the movie in a way later through the tour. 
and you can pay for it to keep it, which we did. There's a Starbucks coffee. Hey, there's always a Starbucks. Can't go wrong with that. I prefer Joffrey's. You said this was a live working studio? It is, yes. This part here definitely was, I mean, it was set up for Harry Potter, but it is still a, a working studio. What are the chances of running into one of the actors? I think they have been there at times. Cool. So this is what came with our um, our package. Um, that was a cool exhibit, too. The digital guide tickets, paperback souvenir guide tickets, and it just says that it's valid through for the times. So the uh, the souvenir guidebook, you actually pick it up at the end um, of the tour. You go through the gift shop and you give them the coup the ticket, and they give you the um, the the guidebook. So you wear those old eighties looking headsets. <laughs> There's a cupboard from Harry Potter. Those little oh, room. That's awesome. Derek's room. <laughs> <laughs> Derek in the cupboard. <laughs> Amy, it was really cool. It is a little bit harder to get there. Luckily, um, my cousin took us there. They just dropped us off and they went shopping. But Greg and I, um, I mean, it would have been a lot harder to get there with us tra yeah. uh, traveling without transportation. Here. And they they told us just to take our time. They were very understanding and, you know, they did their own thing and they weren't trying to rush us or anything. So we really got to see, I think, what we wanted to see out of it for the most part. So this is the great hall where yeah. they have their their meals and that. Oh, wow. You feel yeah. like in the movie. That's the actual place yep. where they filmed. Wow. Yeah. It's cool. Those are all yeah. computers. <laughs> where are all the floating candles? <laughs> That's cool. Oh wow, Blank said my wife would love this. That's uh, some as some of my wife who majored in creative writing for film industry and Harry Potter, her favorite, who would be there for hours. Awesome. There's the Gryffindor crest. Yeah. It was kind of freaky though, when they showed like, because they're like the actual size of what they would be, but they had no face on them. They were just like white. And that to me was kind of freaky. Wow. Well, yeah, I would think that'd be free too. Uh, they should have made like a wax figurine of each of them or something, <laughs> at least their face, but yeah. Oh, I like Snape too. Yeah. Robert from Life with Fever said their oldest son would like it. Oh, wow. I love it. And the only thing about this, you, once you go forward, you can't go backwards. You can't, if, like, if you ever got to take a picture or something, you can't go to the room that you were just in. You, once you leave a room, you go to the next room. So you have to get all your pictures in before you go to the next room. So these were the actual costumes that they wore. How many of the movies were shot here? A bit of all of them? All of them, yeah. Yeah. I mean, they were, they're, they did them in different places too, but this is where the majority of them would um, hang out. Oh. And there was a lot of information. There's a lot of stuff that, as you can see from the boards, they would give you information about the actors and like this is a screenwriting section. So they, um, people who were like the main writers in that. So it just kind of took you a little bit behind the scenes. Oh, look at all the pictures. That's awesome. It is. Yeah, and it's some of the places like they film, like for example, you're going to see in a little bit, um, look, there's the leaky cauldron, the the giant cauldron from it yeah. you see where they're um the, the boys dormitory and it's actually that one building there it is there it's like so small here it looks like a little um like where they put like corn those yeah corn mills or whatever those things oh. are called hey nurse That's nancy nautical nurse nancy welcome nurse nancy agency magic tv <clears throat> they make it seem so big the dorm area when they're filming yeah. it yeah and they actually, when you realize it, the sets are really small. They use a lot of 
green screen to fill in the background. Sure. Even the dining hall looked a little smaller mm. than it, it appears in the movie. Definitely. Yeah, the, uh, digital audio. That's that's what we use. That was the best, I think. Yeah. So you would, um, when you're in a certain section, um, you would click on it, and there would play a video, and it would be like the different actors would be telling you something about what you're looking at. And so it was really cool to get some good inside information on it. That's a device they gave you. Yeah, with what we paid for it, I think it showed 148 dollars. This was a pretty cool room to see all the different um, how they had it. I, I always look at the detail they go into to do certain scenes, and all these bottles had their own individual uh, labels on them. Mm -hmm. um, just the detail of it. I'm, I'm glad the way Harry Potter movies um, put the effort into. Welcome, Jonathan Shaw. Unfortunately, you can't with the lighting. You can't see yeah. too good in them. It's one of those things where you kind of have to be there for it. Yeah, there's Snape. Well, that's his potions class area. There's the giant clock. Do you guys know if they have a traveling exhibit? <clears throat> they might, but not as far as I I know. That's the tower that you would use to get to Dumbledore's room. And you would say lemon drop. Sherbin, Sherbert lemon. Sherbert drops. lemon. Sherbert lemon. They always fit changes it in the movies. Yeah, his office actually was pretty big. Yeah, it's a lot bigger than a boy's dormitory, that's for sure. <laughs> I haven't seen this in so long. I know. <laughs> and this, this, um, we originally released this and we ended up getting a copyright on it. And, um, when we, I redid it and we ended up losing a lot of views from it when it first came out just because of, um, that happening. So this video actually doesn't have a whole lot of views on it, but I think in terms of our, videos i maybe just because of what it meant to us this is one of our favorite videos mm -hmm. that we we did hey w emmanuel welcome so why did it get copyrighted because of music or because of the content um you'll see in a little bit um, there was we, a lot of we music. walked through diagon alley and the music that they played during that spot uh, well, came okay. up as it so i ended up um changing it and talking over it with um <laughs> with a microphone okay look how small haggard's hut was <laughs> yeah Oh, there's the uh, dog. I forgot his name. Fang. Fang. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. It's your mom. Hello, hey, mom. Mama Berthel. Mama Explorer, as Jim calls her. I don't know. We said hi to David from Fisher Fun Adventures. <clears throat> this is a chance where you get to use yeah. a green screen and fly in the broom. Yeah, that's <laughs> the one that we were talking about earlier. Did I, did I put that clip in here? I don't know. I don't remember. Did you guys fly on the broom? We did. We bought the video for it too, oh. and that's the that's the bank, uh, the Gringotts bank um, machine thing that they ride. Oh, yep, yep. Well, look at the flying car. Yeah, the thing. The little pieces of tree, the weeping willow tree. When we lived in England, um, I lived in England. We used to have one of those cars. It was white and it had red seats. Which now I think of it, it was really probably a hideous looking car, but. Mm -hmm. That was in the mid '70s when we lived there. That's the Chamber of Secrets. <laughs> oh wow, he's speaking snake parcel tongue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this was kind of a freaky spot here. With um, oh, that was kind of creepy. Oh, is this is that the spot with the snake? That's Nagini. When yeah, Nagini. Oh, where he eats. Oh. Yeah. She eats the teacher. Yeah. This was at the time. This was one of the newest attractions that they had built into it, which was the uh, the Forbidden Forest. So if you don't like um, spiders, then <laughs> you might want to quickly run through this area. It was pretty cool. I like the lightning and everything. Be horrific. Welcome, Shawana's Creative Circle. Thank you for joining us. We're um, at Harry Potter Studios in England, where they filmed the Harry Potter movies, and we are here with 
Disney Nerd Herders and more Sunshine Please. Fuck Beak. And we are um, watching our trip from 1919, 2017. No, wow, 1974. <laughs> also, Nathan's Bowhouse Reviews, welcome. I like that. The spiders were really cool, too. Uh, Blaine, our favorite part of this tour was probably when we had Butterbeer. <laughs> There's, uh, uh, you know, that's a good question. I have to see the end of this video to see if it is Aragog. Uh, that's Aragog. Why couldn't it be follow the butterflies? <laughs> <laughs> that was a big animatronic for Aragog, too. Yeah, wow. That, oh, oh, that's oh awesome. Oh my god, me and Sophie would have a stroke. <laughs> oh, Sophie and Stacy would have a stroke. There's absolutely no way. No kidding. Did they have a. Uh, they look real. <laughs> uh, alternative routes around some rooms. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my god! Just really? cover their eyes and walk through. But I think they would like it. Debbie, <laughs> butter beer to me tastes almost like a um, a cream soda, like a um, vanilla cream soda. That was what they used for the um, the Patronus. Patronus. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's cool. Huh. Uh, but Blaine, like this stocks. Blaine, this area was my favorite because I love trains. This was my favorite area when I saw this. Yeah, this was pretty cool. You're actually we on both platform. Love trains. Yeah, on platform nine and three quarters. You got to actually go into the train too. Have you guys been in the lands at Universal? Yeah, in Florida, yes, but we have not been in Disney or Disney in yeah. um, Hollywood. Yeah. Oh. But the, we already know the one in Florida is way better. It has two different lands, and then the train connects them both. Yeah. Yeah, we love that. Have you guys been there too? Yeah. Yeah. We've used to go there every year, but um, we took last year off, so we're we're excited to go back this year. Oh yeah, I forgot we had lunch there in between the tour. We had a, we had a ham sandwich. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm saying. You tell me, Greg. <laughs> I don't even know what we're talking about. Those sandwiches were big, though. Is that butter beer? It was butter beer. Uh, oh, awesome. We like the frosted better than the, the, fro the frozen, frozen, frozen butter beer. Yeah, we like the frozen butter beer better. But that's just us. Yeah. Oh, you don't like the foamy one? Um, I don't remember. No, I think we preferred the frozen one. Yeah, all of us we, did. We've, all four we've of us. Stuck uh, since, yeah. yeah. I don't think we've had the frozen one, huh? We just did the foamy one. I'm not sure. The, the night bus. The night bus. That was awesome. Was it burned? That's actually that's actually the house that they use for the Dursleys, and then that's the bridge. Yeah. As small as it was. <laughs> wow. Wow. It is small. Takes away the magic. <laughs> I mean, it's not small like that. Yeah, and they computerize everything around it. Nancy, uh, butterbeer kind of tastes me like a cream soda, like a vanilla cream soda. Yeah. 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 So the stairs just go up to nothing. It just goes up to a bunch of barbs and pipes and stuff. I don't know how they had these letters stuck like that. It was like wires or something that they don't move at all. It's no post on Sunday. <laughs> post on Sunday. Post on Sunday. <laughs> With the neat effect, though. Yeah. If we'd spend the whole day there. That'd be awesome, yeah. You guys spent four and a half hours there, you said? Four and a half yeah, hours. It's and, an all day thing. And we could we could have probably spent seven hours there. Yeah, we wow. would have done that too. Oh. Just seeing all the makeup and stuff that they did. We watched the third one quite a lot. It was just so cool to know you're in a spot where they filmed mm -hmm. the Harry Potter movies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we're like, we're huge Harry Potter fans. That's where his parents were killed. Wow. I hope they make at least two more movies with the Cursed Child part one and part two, at least. Oh, this is interesting where they showed you. I that. loved that part. Yeah, all the different. Um, the creatures. Yeah. Like my shirt, I'm wearing all the creatures. That's right. That you, was you really did get cool. that there. Uh, wow. 
There's the phoenix. Oh, yeah. Fox. I like that dragon in the back. This is probably one of my favorite areas is the creatures area. What was Hagrid's brother's name again? Gop. Gop, is that it? Go, uh, Gop, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Gop. It's funny if you get about things. Yeah. He's holding Hermione and she says, put me down. So now. this is the area that was playing the music that um that I got copyrighted on. So yeah. I had to redo it. That's the joke joke shop. Yep. So they have this in Florida too. These scenes. Yeah, they have some. Yeah. Yeah. I wish you can go into every store in Florida. Or I wish if there was all of them were a real store because some of them yeah. are just fake front. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Isn't that Honey Dukes there? Or they have a Honey Dukes store? I don't or was that the candy? Remember that was the joke shop. I know that. It was called Honey Dukes. No, I think Honey Dukes was a candy. Welcome. Yeah. Yeah. Feeling. Thank you for joining us. That, yeah, this is Weezer. FL feeling. This is Weezer's joke shop. Problem is, is the ones in Florida are packed. So you can't, were, you can't yeah. take your they time and look. Big enough, yeah. Um, yeah, these are just the actual sets. <laughs> That's prop, disgusting. Prop, prop, thanks. Yeah. Blaine, thank you, Blaine. Did people dress up when they went on the tour? Or were they all just regular? I think they had some people that like wore hats and stuff. You could buy a whole getup, like the the robe and the hats and the wands and all that. Oh, Dobby. Aww, poor Dobby. That's probably the, one of the saddest parts of the whole series. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And why they have Dobby do was annoying. In the books, incredibly annoying. Um, but he was so sweet in the movies. Yeah, at, but yeah. by the end of everything, he was one of my favorite characters. He felt so bad for him. Yeah. They made him lovable. Mm -hmm. In the movies, they softened up him up some. Yeah. It's amazing, just the concepts and everything they do mm -hmm. to making the movies that you don't really like i don't know not shouldn't say appreciate but just don't realize the effort that it takes to get in to put into it oh this is the emotional area this was a massive model of hogwarts i think we stayed in here like 15 20 minutes. We were there pretty a pretty long time. <laughs> wow. They use that to scale a lot of the shots and stuff in the movies. So you walk from like one end and then it takes you around to the other side. At this point we are um down on a lower level to the other side of it. Is there some type of model somewhere that shows you from the outside where all the rooms were? Like where was, if you could look at this picture and say, okay, this is Dumbledore's room and this is the Gryffindor common room and this is where the Raven. I don't know if they I don't have remember that anything that. like that. No. Juan Rodriguez, welcome. That'd be cool though. I just, I would, yeah. I would like that. Yeah. Yeah, like, uh, it makes you want to live there. Like when you're in the mood, when you watch the movies, it makes you want to be in that world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like Pandora, they do the same thing. Yep. Well, at this point, we're just kind of summarizing yeah, what was, um, we felt about it. But um, that was a that was an awesome tour. Yeah. I would we have plans of going back to England, um, and this is one of the spots we'd like to go to. At some point, it's yeah. just um, hard to to get into doing something like this. Welcome, Mary Ellen Shaw. And I wouldn't be surprised that they didn't have stuff from Fantastical Beasts by that time. They might have stuff in there for that, too. Yeah. They so if you guys ever wanted to watch this video again at a different time, this is part of our England um, vlogs, um, one of our first vlogs that we did. Um, I might say Disneyland Paris, England, um, but this is – I think it's England. Um, but this is the video that we did from that. I think we actually do end it up with – no, that's a different video I was thinking of. But um, I think it was worth it. Do you agree? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
way worth it. I I wish we didn't have to leave so fast. I mean, we were there for four hours, but I guess we didn't have to leave, but I think we felt guilty that they were waiting for us. But we saw pretty much everything we wanted to see at that point. Yeah. Definitely. We did fly the brooms, and um, it there is a have a video made. It was on a thumbnail, and you like fly through the city and everything. It's kind of like from the sixth movie, I think, where they're flying through the city and everything. So that was pretty fun. It was a it was a uh, expensive package for like the pictures and the thumbnail and everything. Mary Ellen is going to or the USB drive. I mean, Paris in June. So I hope oh, everything wow. is open up. Yeah. For them. <laughs> and I think that's pretty much it. This is probably like our fifth video that we've produced. Is that the right word? Produced? Yeah. We bought a lot of souvenirs there too. I think. Yeah. Like they had stores there. We. I wish we would have filmed what it looked like inside the train. Oh, thank you. Because we did take pictures in the train. I don't know if we took a video, though. Um, a lot of stuff I didn't include this video because the video could have been like 50 minutes to an hour, and I, I <laughs> edited it down to 24 minutes. Um, so uh, there was a lot of stuff I didn't use. And then I think I deleted a lot of it by mistake because of... I don't remember. I, I was trying to save memory, and I didn't mean to delete it, and I did. So that was <laughs> oh, no. unfortunate. Hey, well, yes. Um, so you guys, um, it is about 15 minutes till at this time, you guys, um, if you are a creator, please, if you can put that you are creators creator. in the chat, um, if you are not a creator, please support the other people in here. There's so many great channels in here that put oh, out some great content. You're missing your spotlight. I know. Where's the spotlight? Spotlight channel. I don't even know who it is. Cause you didn't tell me. Uh, it's a secret. I think I could see who it is. It's a secret. <laughs> Spotlight channel. Spotlight channel. Oh. <laughs> Hold it. All right. So <laughs> you're gonna get people sick. All right. So our spotlight channel is someone who has actually been a spotlight channel before, but they mean a lot to us. They've helped us in so many different ways. Um, they're a great resource, so many different channels. And I want to say he just recently hit another milestone, but the, I think it's 24, 2400 subscribers. It is so. Rob Fuzz. It is Rob Fuzz. So, um, Rob Fuzz. And... <laughs> I love it when you do that, Jim. Um, <laughs> so, Rob um, has also been doing a project with um, Jim for more sunshine, please. Um, it is called the Fifth Gate. We were fortunate enough to be on the last show with that, but it's about um, what would you do with um, if Disney built a Fifth Gate? What would yeah, you like it to look one, like? Yeah. yeah. So Dean from the LivePlace.com, which is putting it on, is working with Rob as well as Jim, which is a fun thing. Um, but Rob, Rob and Jim probably have the best voices in on YouTube. Um, so uh, <laughs> thank <Rob> you. <laughs> <laughs> so Rob is great. Um, so if you guys haven't had a chance to check him out, again, congratulate him on being at 2,400 subscribers. He does support so many people out there. So um, Rob is our support channel for the week. <laughs> Hi. Do you guys have any questions or any comments on the video or anything you want to know? I thought that was uh, uh, great, and I hadn't seen it before. Uh, but I just I posted the link. Um, Thank you. A little, a little bit ago, so people can uh, go back and and uh, check it out. I actually uh, didn't even know that existed, um, but it sounds like it's awesome, and it looked like it was awesome too. Yeah, we it's definitely want to do it in London or England. We would definitely. Yeah, we would. That would be a must do. Something we would check out for sure. Oh, definitely. I wish they would have an expanded, because um, <clears throat> we don't usually do the ride that's in the, the, the giant castle that ride because sophie gets sick from it and whatnot so we usually you can request to do the walking tour which brings you through the queue line but it's not exactly through the queue line so you get to see some things that most some of the, some of the queue line doesn't see so mm -hmm. but it's like walking through the castle which we love it yeah we do that but every time. you wish they would expand it where you can have more of what you guys just saw um more of everything you know because it's kind of like 
it's <clears throat> a ton of a lot. Obviously, there's a lot of room in there for the ride itself, but right. I wish there was more stuff that you can actually see from the movies, the making of the movies and stuff. Yeah. That would be awesome. Yeah. I want to say welcome to Tracy Glenn, Kenzie Day's dad. Um, I don't think we've seen them before, mm -hmm. so they're welcome. new. Welcome. It froze the comments on the computer, so I'm using the phone now. So sorry if we missed you. Mary, Mary Ellen Schall, I don't think we said yeah, hi we earlier. Did. She's okay. going to also, she's going to Paris. Tracy and, Glenn. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's okay. <laughs> okay, I think we're up to date. We, um, I was looking at a lot of stuff on how to get there. And they do offer bus tours to go to there. Like, for example, um, you can, like, take the train and then get a – you can actually take the train all the way Pepper there, tree. which the only thing is is we're not familiar with trains. I mean, if you're from, like, New York or somewhere that's used to the subway, it's, it's probably nothing for you to go from one train to the next and know where to go. But for us, which is pretty rare that we actually get to ride it, to us it was a little bit overwhelming. Um, it, I'm surprised we made it so well. I think we did fine. We went from England to France, with the exception of sometimes we got caught in our luggage got caught <laughs> in there, and Greg got oh, his wait, luggage. Ours? Greg's you luggage was mine? on the subway thing, and the doors shut on him yes. while he was inside of it. But that's my hand was story. hanging out the door with my luggage out, and people people had to help me and push <laughs> my luggage and my hand back in. So. But we survived that. But um, I looked into it, and <laughs> one of the downsides, so you have to be careful who you go with because sometimes they won't wait for you. Um, you don't have, you can't stay there, like, for seven hours. It's They'll take you to a spot, or from there, you, you're at a pickup spot. They take you there. Yeah, you're on their you time, You're on a countdown. If you don't show up back at that time, they will leave you. That's why so, I wouldn't want to do it by bus. Yeah, so that's why we were fortunate enough to have our cousin take us so we could more or less go at our own speed. So mm -hmm. if you guys are interested in doing that, it might even be good to maybe stay somewhere close, which to us, it seemed like it was kind of out in the land of nowhere. Um, sure. So you would still probably have to travel. But it is. I mean, I looked at it, and you can conceivably take trains, different trains all the way out there. So um, that was something that was to us – Something we were, we went to Disneyland Paris that trip, our first time for the 25th anniversary. We went there. We went to King Arthur's Castle in Tintagel in Cornwall. Tintagel. And that was, they, well, they say Tintagel. Um, and that was just like a an amazing <laughs> trip for us to experience all that. But the Harry Potter thing with us being huge Harry Potter fans was, um, was amazing. And, oh, the picture shows up now of mom. Oh, cool! Yeah, because the sun's gone. The sun's gone down. down. Yeah, but um, yeah. So, um, do you guys have any Universal questions Studios. about um the trip? I don't know if they're still saying things in there since mm -hmm. I can't see it in there. I'm uh, looking for any questions. Poor Greg, just trying to. Poor Greg, just trying to make it. Laugh out loud. <laughs> what? No. Is that London? So I don't. Know. I'm trying to make it, but okay. <laughs> Where was the actor studios, Greg? I mean, Derek, whatever. It's called Lee's Den Studios and um, Warner Brothers in London. Oh, because my hand was probably out of the train. Oh, yeah. Oh, and then the subway doors, I think it was the subway doors, they closed in on both of my shoulders. And I'm like, I'm just not having the greatest time with their transportation. I just, they like slammed on my shoulders, on my shoulders. And I just said, ow. And then they opened up again and I had to like wriggle out of it. So yeah, it was an experience for me. <laughs> Those moments, unfortunately, weren't put into the video. No, that's which... like, that only happens in the movies type of thing. <laughs> <laughs> the turnstile, we got caught yes. in the turnstile. Trying to get our luggage over the turnstile, and people are just walking on their happy, merry way, not even trying to, like, help or anything. <laughs> They're probably thinking, Do you guys things. go from, from Paris on the train up to London, planning on staying overnight? That's why you were bringing your luggage with you? type of thing yeah so we we flew in the night before into england we because we were, were staying with our cousins and we, at the last part of the trip we were going to go with our cousins my cousins to um cornwall so um we went into we landed in heathrow and then the next morning we took um which is in part of the, the vlogs for disneyland paris we traveled um from where they lived which was probably about 40 minutes from uh, king's cross station 
So we took a train to get there. I think we actually had to take two trains to get there. And then we took the channel, which is the high speed rail that goes under the English channel. It's a lot of travel. And, <laughs> and it gets right to um, the gates of Disneyland Paris resort. Yeah. And then we actually were fortunate enough to stay at the Disneyland resort hotel, which is the hotel, which is at the front of Disneyland Paris. You go um, underneath it to go into the park. So we are there for three nights. It's a lot of pink, that hotel. It's yeah. a lot of pink outside. We were there for three nights. And then we headed back on the channel um, up to, um, uh, it was Ashted. I always say Ashted, and that's not how you pronounce it. It's Ashted, Surrey, England. So um, Surrey, like in Harry Potter, but it's um, Surrey, England is one of the, the places that we stayed at. So um it was a little bit nerve wracking, especially with the French and actually trying to come in through from France into England with all the the machine guns that the French police yeah, had. Yeah, that was kind of intimidating. It was intimidating. I, they were like marching in like we 16 in a row, like dun dun dun. We didn't look, black. like I didn't dare look at them in the <laughs> eye or anything. I just minded my own business, did my own thing, acted like they weren't even there. <laughs> Yeah, so that was uh, that was an experience. But um, if you've never done something like that, I definitely would highly recommend it. Mary Ellen Schultz said, I've heard you shouldn't sit by Paris Metro doors because they will grab your bags and take off. I mean, I haven't had that issue, but it, I mean, I guess they could do that. Yeah, we were in, we were outside of um, Paris. We never actually got in, went into it. Oh, yeah, they didn't have a Disney Springs. Well, no, they had their own, they had their own downtown disney but it wasn't called disney springs i think it was just downtown disney it was a lot like anaheim disney yeah i liked it though yeah. <laughs> any other questions mm, no, did you see debbie's question oh no. where do they let you just hang out in there or for as long as you want or do they push you along they didn't really push you along there might have been a couple just of sections at your own pace yeah you just don't want it too crowded and if you went back to the other one, I don't think that would have been bad, but they didn't want to say, have you go all the way to the end and then walk all the way back to. The well, no, they said you can't go back. Once you leave a room, you you don't go back because mm -hmm. it would cause issues. There's a lot of people that go into that tour. You could probably tell from the video. There was a lot of people that were, that were in there, but um, yeah, it was, um, it was a fun tour. Yeah. All right, guys. So um, we're going to, looks like we're getting ready to wrap it up. We've been in here almost an hour, but let's kind of find out what's going on with you guys and what you have upcoming next. So I think we'll stop, start with the ones at the top. Let's go to the Disney Nerd Herders. Stacy and Charlie, what do you have going on? What can we look forward to you with? Um, we have going on, what's next is Sunday. We are doing a two hour special show on Sunday. Um, to give the opportunity to people who can't make our Wednesday shows to come on live with us and chat a little bit. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be also um, a chance to pretty much ask us anything. So um, anybody, any of the people that are on the chats, any people that are actually on live with us um, can ask us anything. Um, we'll have some topics uh, for mm -hmm. general discussion as well as probably discussing current events if everybody's up for it um i think everybody's getting kind of sick of it <laughs> personally yeah, but i think people are getting cabin fever <laughs> well, yeah. they better hang on because <laughs> they got a ways to go yeah. i know it huh yeah and uh i mean not like you can't walk out of your house you know but... right right that's true it, yeah. yeah but that's the that's the main gist of the show for sunday yeah um and then uh we have the pizza crawl yeah we have we're, we're, we're trying to do a pizza crawl which is in, is in the city with 13 different pizza places around town um that's not working out too well <laughs> no because you can't because, sit in there and eat them yeah we can't we have to bring everything in back either into the car or at home or whatever so yeah. it's not really working out it's not the well. same as but, when is there early because they don't want crowds right yeah no crowds right right and they're pretty much you can't have, even like if when you go to a place to order, you can't have twenty five people in the one building, including so, including the, the workers, employees. Yeah, so so that's also you know. When's our five foolish mortals show? Is that April fourth? Is that that's what I was thinking about too? I don't even know what the topic was. <laughs> I think we yeah, gotta get together on that. Yeah, we um. Uh, we're yeah. Still hey, Bob, 
It's going to be on our site. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so if you guys aren't aware, we are doing, uh, we are part of the Five Foolish Mortals. So Jim, Charlie, and we have Ben, and then Big Explorer, Little Explorer. We are part of the Five Foolish Mortals. <laughs> oh, I'm wrong. <laughs> Stacy is always welcome as a special <laughs> guest anytime you want. So um, we will probably have it in April is probably when the next one. Um, I was going to Vegas uh, next week, um, but that's not happening anymore. That's been canceled. Everything's been canceled. Yeah, so um, we'll see what's, what's going on. Our cruise isn't canceled for September, but okay. I, I hope things get better for everybody. Oh, if you're and, not going to Vegas, if you're available Sunday, hop on. on, on sounds good. Yeah. yeah. And speaking of five foolish mortals, there's um, Jim. Well, no, Are you trying five. to call him foolish or something? <laughs> yeah, what's With he the, a foolish thing? I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? So Jim, what? What, <laughs> what do you have going on? Uh, most immediately, uh, on Thursday, I guess that's tomorrow, on uh, the Live Place YouTube channel, that's Dean, uh, along with Rob Fuzz. Uh, we have a series of live streams we call The Fifth Gate, and it's where we imagine what a fifth Disney World theme park would be like, or what we would like it to be. And episode three will be about defunct rides or rides we would like to reimagine for our imaginary fifth theme park. So that's Thursday on the live place, I believe at 8 p.m. So uh, most immediately that. And then uh, for my channel, I have a Tuesday night live stream at 7.30 that I do weekly. And then um, as far as videos, I've got one more 360 video to release. It's where I was walking through Animal Kingdom. So uh, it was like a half hour walk around Animal Kingdom with my uh, camera that provides a 360 degree view of the park. So uh, that'll be neat. And then uh, probably scouring my library of raw footage for things to <laughs> things to <laughs> scrape together and, and uh, put on YouTube. But we'll see. Uh, but yeah, Bob said it was live stream season. So. Lots of live streams. Yes, Charlie. <laughs> I forgot to mention that a video that we're working on as well is our scavenger hunt video. Where we are oh, working. yeah. Looking forward to that. It's our scavenger hunt that we did with two teams of three. And they were doing different tasks and um, uh, it was like a race. things through uh, Epcot Center, if we can call it that still. <laughs> um, before all the walls went up, yeah, uh, I'm looking forward to that. We're yeah, working, working on that. There was teams. It was uh, me, Jamie, and 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 it, Sophie, Sophie versus Stacy, Avery, and my sister Laura. So, um, lots of editing to get through yeah. there, right? Yeah. <laughs> but we're working on it. Hopefully, it's gonna come out within the next couple week or so, right? We'll see. <laughs> Awesome. I, I see. <laughs> I, I see. Wanda. Uh, she first asked if I was out of kombucha, and I am not out of kombucha, but kombucha is out of me. Oh, um, that doesn't sound right. I just meant it's out of the room. It's out of the. I took it. It's back oh, in the fridge. Well, That's all I meant. That's all I meant by that. I don't know <laughs> what you're thinking of. You uh, said it was out of you, not your room. Out, you didn't let me finish. Out of me garage. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> you slipped right. on that one. <laughs> we have a, a few shows which are coming up. Uh, Sorry. At uh, <laughs> nine o'clock Eastern time, um, we have the ship show, which is um, with John and um, York. Um, so if you're watching them, if you're watching this and that, let them know that Big and Little Explorer sent you. Um, for us, we will be having the NCL Escape vlog coming out. This is bar, bar two. This is part two, bar two of Bar Harbor, and this is a day that we try lobster ice cream. We try Moxie. 
Mm, we try I, gross. And we try, well, don't don't spoil it already. I'm sorry. You are terrible. I, I already told them Moxie is disgusting. And then um also we tried it tried it. We tried it. Need him. Where did you go to school at? I have no idea. I think Jim needs to teach you grammar. <laughs> Wait, so, he's a different kind of teacher. We tried this video. Needum chocolate. So um that's gonna be coming up on the next one. And I will be going on vacation next week, so I will be able to get some more videos done. Um, He'll be going on vacation here because he can't go anywhere else. So staycation. Yeah, exactly. A lot of people that because you were talking, Charlie, about what you could do at home while you're in self isolation. A lot of people are saying that they're going to like clean their house or de clean their house through their rooms and closets and stuff. <laughs> so yeah. Well, <laughs> people have no excuse not to have a clean house now because they got a lot of time to do that kind of stuff. Well, we're working. Uh, still. Right. Yeah, we have to work. We're, we're still working. Work. Sorry, work. Oh, I've got a honey-do list. Yeah, it's uh, we'll chip away <laughs> at it. <laughs> we have um, we have a chat with Pepper Tree Villa, and they like they're like texting the heck out of us right now. See, what are you doing? Doug's sending us <laughs> stuff uh, that we probably can't hear right now, but. I haven't even looked at it. <laughs> we're, we're in our show right exactly. now. Exactly. We're um, in our realm. So we um, are having a cruise show next week. Um, we're excited about that. We'll have to figure out a date um, when we can do our next um, uh, Harry Harry Potter, the Five Foolish Mortals show um, since things have changed. And I think that's about it. Um, it is the top of the hour. You guys, thank you as always for joining us. Yes, thank um, you. It was a lot of fun. Yes, we always enjoy you on our shows, so you're always welcome to, to be on it. And um, for us, Greg, any last parting words? Any um, last comments? Um, Bob and Ashley. Look, I did say hi to them. Uh, Mom said catching up on... Oh. <laughs> Mom said catching up on movies. Yeah, that's a good thing. Jim was watching Disney Plus today, so... Again. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of Disney movies that you haven't seen yet that you need to watch. I know. I, I've got the time to do it now. They're saying that it, people are putting their Christmas lights back up. What? Yep. I thought about what? that. Yep. People are putting their it. Christmas lights back up just to try to... Brighten the mood? Yeah. Yep. Well, I do I have a lot seen of that around here yet. I do have a lot of Christmas recorded movies from Hallmark. Oh and my god! Start rewatching those again. So I haven't taken mine down yet, so I guess I can plug them we're back ahead, in. We're ahead of the curve, so we're gonna plug them back in. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I yeah, did. The time. We did watch the Black Cauldron not too long ago. I it was my first time watching that cartoon movie, and I didn't think it was a horrible movie. It was a very different feeling. It didn't for, feel like for a Disney. Disney movie. Um, it just needed more music, I think, more singing. It was probably it was before like the musical movies for uh, Disney cartoon movies came out, but it wasn't a horrible movie like some people were saying. So I I mean I would recommend watching it at least once. We That's have our door ringing party. endorsement. We have, our, <laughs> we have our door partly open. You have and, to watch all of them. And so. one of the cats on one side and the other cat is on the other side. They're like pawing and at they're each other. smacking the other one when he tries to come into the, the room. How sad. <laughs> all right, guys. She so can hold her own. With that, we're going <laughs> to... just popped his head in. With that, we're going to head out. Um, thank you, Explorers, for joining us. We will be back next week. Same time. Same bat place. That place. Okay. Everybody have a nice night. Stay Bye, healthy. Everybody. I'm everybody Derek. stay healthy. I'm Derek. I'm Gregory. If you forget our names, I'm a little explorer. I'm big explorer. And as Walt Disney said, <laughs> we, we are, are just, just getting, getting started. started. Everybody stay healthy. <laughs>